former Lady Raiders, two former assistants, two parents spoke to USA Today about the quote, toxic culture of abuse, heart monitoring requiring constant high heart rates throughout games, coaches intimidating players, body shaming them and calling out these things such as fat pig, all created an atmosphere in which 12 Lady Raiders transferred in just two seasons. We spoke to a few former players today about their time in the Lady Raider basketball program. Kale Case, Alyssa Tayez shares their experiences. Basketball has meant like everything to me. Like I've played since I was probably in kindergarten, first grade. After years of committing to the game she loves, former Lady Raider basketball player Angel Hayden says her outlook has changed. We've never had a coaching staff, whether it was in high school, whether you were older, transferred, like had coaches treat you like you were so dumb. Hayden says since the beginning of Marlene Stallings time as their head coach, many of the girls noticed something was different. It just like went downhill with coaches. Hayden, who wanted to remain anonymous for the USA Today article, says she wants to make her story known. She says they were called names. She also says she had a bad cough and instead of going to the doctor, their trainer gave her pills. And they just kept giving me pills, but never did I meet with the doctor in person. Well, when I went home, because my mom works at a clinic, um, I finally got to go to a doctor and they had told me I had pneumonia. But another big issue, the players were given heart monitors. So I was really excited for them to be able to like share these kinds of results with me and be able to tell me exactly what I needed to do to get better. But that changed when they found out what they would actually be used for. During games and practices, the ladies needed to maintain a 90% heart rate capacity. I had to make the decision of if I wanted to, you know, deal with bad health or if I was going to just be okay with not being able to play. So it wasn't like basketball anymore. It was just like, keep your heart rate up, keep your heart rate up. And that's all I would ever think. Gus Daniela says none of their players are weak and many went to administration for help but Hayden says nothing ever came from it. Things need to get looked into more and things need to be taken seriously because it's people at hand here, not just athletes and people don't realize that. So while Castaneda doesn't want Stallings to be fired, she does want them to change their approach. Because they're very smart, so what they have to add to the game is definitely necessary, but um, they should definitely rethink and relook at the way that they do things. Alyssa Tez, KLBK News.